looks so amazing. Feels weird talking to a camera right now. It's been a while. I just wanted to vlog, start making videos again. These are the kind that I seem to enjoy making the most. So you may hear some wind and I'm sorry about that. I live in Wellington now so cannot be avoided. It is 11.54 on Easter Sunday. I don't have work or anything today and I also have the day off tomorrow which is sick and I sound kind of husky and gross because I've just been sick. It's had a shower which is why my hair is like this. I dry my hair in a t-shirt now because apparently that's good. I don't know. I bought my skincare in here so I didn't have to set up my camera in the bathroom but I could still like show you what I do. I don't cleanse my face in the morning because like I think it dries it out but when I'm sick I kind of like break out really badly so I cleansed my chin and my forehead today with like a Mario Mario Badescu um, cleanser, gel cleanser which I don't really like but it's what I'm using at the moment to use it up. Then I take Sukin Hydrating Sukin Hydrating Mist Turner. I like this because I don't have to use a cotton round because I don't really like using those like because they're wasteful but I also have reusable ones but I'm really bad at remembering to like wash them so this one's good because I just go oh, my mirror's down here and just like pat it in lock light then I sorry it's really windy I have this serum The Ordinary Oh, look at me, I'm a beauty guru. Ni niacinamide, 10% plus zinc, 1%. High strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. For blemishes, it like makes your blemish marks less like prominent. This is what the ASMR channels do, they go. So I put this on every morning and night and I think it works pretty good actually. Pat it in. It's pretty good ASMR. I've got the ordinary clean not cleanser, um, you know, this moisturizer with hyaluronic acid on it. We love the ordinary because it's like, you know, not got fragrance and all that bad stuff, but it's like pretty cheap. I don't know if I like really like this moisturizer though. I prefer like gel, more like watery stuff. But, uh, my hair, obviously just washed it. So we're gonna take it out of here. Ooh. It's still curly, but I'm gonna brush it because if I don't brush it, I've discovered that it's just it's too frizzy. Hairbrush. Duh. And I got this spray thing. It says it's good for blondes, but I don't know why it would be. It is for moisturising and conditioning, thermal protection, controls frizz and detangles, adds shine, prevents breakage and repairs dry hair. I just put it in when it's wet and brush it and also if it's ever like looking frizzy because it's really good for that. And just brush. And I always air dry my hair because it's bleach blonde and I just don't need the damage, do we? Also, like, who 
can be bothered with that. So that's my that's my morning routine. I might set up my room a bit more. We've been living here for like two months and I still haven't finished setting up the room. It's really great. Mostly because we just haven't had like any furniture and to be honest we can't really afford to buy like anything so that doesn't help also we're gonna do some eastery things tonight Alex is at work doing some like gardening at the moment so that'll be a bit later we are making some progress on the room quick break for lunch got leftovers from last night lentils, peas, cooked spinach, potatoes that I cooked with lemon pepper and lemon juice and cut up a tomato and some nutritional yeast. Fam, it is 4.20 p.m. and I've finally done it. Two months later and the room is ready. Let's have a tour. Bad golden hour lighting but here's the door. Our dressing gowns. We have some artwork on the wall. These pictures which were from a calendar that I had many years ago. Laundry basket. Mirror. Oh hey. Got some more artwork on the wall. This is Falling down, but I need to get Alex to help me put them back up. Got the earrings, makeshift table of a suitcase, some books. The sliding is atrocious for showing you what I'm talking about, but also I'm um, got runny nose because hay fever from dust. Got some bags on hooks here. Looks a bit chaotic. Some, got some film stuff and my slippers. A big walk-in wardrobe. These cute little cubby things from Kmart. Wardrobe. Storage. That hanging drawer thing that's fallen off and we haven't fixed it yet. CDs and records. I'm so quirky. Record player in a crate full of books. Makeup. Jewelry, books, more books in here, decorations, glary. This picture that Alex made it for me of Sarah, he wood burned it. More clothes, and there's pink lights around it that light up. I still need to put the picture on the wall, I need to get a hook for that. This one by Mouldy Mermaid, my friend Jess. Just a pin board there. Poster. Got some stationery. Some old Spanish magazine things. Need to find somewhere to hang our degrees and also frames for our degrees because the one mine was in broke. Bedside table. And here's the wall above our bed. Frankie magazine poster and artwork. More artwork by Jess, Mouldy Mermaid. Hello to me in the background. Surf poster that I got Alex for Christmas. And our bed is not cute. We don't have a duvet or proper pillows yet. It's okay because it's been like warm enough that we haven't frozen to death in the night. Looking a bit chaotic. So that's how you decorate a room when you haven't got like any furniture. It is time to begin preparations for the Easter extravaganza. We're making, well I'm making from scratch, banana bread hot cross buns because I couldn't find any gluten-free hot cross buns at the supermarket. So we have this banana bread, which I've had like twice before and it's actually good. And what you need is, oh, I forgot one of the ingredients. What you need is two bananas, 
wow, this isn't good lighting. I'm positioned so that you can't see the mess in the kitchen. You need two bananas. You need two eggs. So I'm going to make chia eggs and hopefully there's enough in there. Whoa. This isn't part of the recipe but I'm going to put in dark chocolate. This was just the cheapest one. Then I'm going to melt it on the top and make it into a cross. Would you look at that? It's so oily. The Easter extravaganza is ready. The Berg apple cider. Hot cross banana bread. Sweet and salty popcorn. And these little like chocolate mold things that Alex's employer gave him. Cheers. Cheers. To us and Easter. Where do you think it is? In Canada. Or North North America. What's your tell? You're driving on the right side of the road. Mm. And there's lots of pine trees. Oh, it's like Russia or something. Good morning, and welcome to the breakfast of champions. Cold coffee chocolate. It's hot chocolate that I couldn't finish last night, so I put it in the fridge. And then I added coffee and a bit of soy milk and ice. And this is what we have. Banana. For health. Banana hot cross bun. B12 and medication. Down the hatch. having the feeling like there's stuff I'm meant to be doing but there's nothing that I need to do and might just be because it's like Monday so it feels weird that I don't have to do anything I'm having a protein shake and lunch tomato and basil rice with a cut up tomato and nutritional yeast Ideally, I'd have more veggies in this, but we need to go grocery shopping. I'm just going to watch some stuff and fill in my health journal. I feel so bad. I could have literally just turned on the lights above me, but will I do it? No. So I use my giant wine glass or like a really fun, um, you know. after you get back in bed after work I just got back from grocery shopping and it's about to film a haul and I just <laughs> I just got an email that I got the job that I auditioned for on when was it? <laughs> last week Wednesday my first acting job in Wellington and it's paid. <gasps> so iffy. Anyway, back to schedule programming. Oh, yes. This is just for me for the week. I had to restock on a lot of stuff, so it's like a little bit more than I'd normally get for just myself. Also, this is ooh, my first week of trying to be on a tighter budget because. I um, I thought I had more money to spend on food because I miscalculated how
how much money I would be earning. Um, so yeah. Anyway, went to a green grocer for most of my produce because it's cheaper. Apples, these are the cheapest ones. They're kind of huge, like that's pretty sick. Two small avocados because they were cheap. Two for two fifty. Also got pears. Also some of these pears are like huge as well. Look at that. It's huge. But like not all of them, but it's my like to have them as like breakfast or not as breakfast. That's not a very good breakfast. But like with my wheat bix or I, I often have two breakfasts now because I wake up at 6am and start work at 7 so I'm like not really ready for a proper meal but then I finish work at 8.30 and come home so I have like second breakfast at 9.30ish I eat fruit at both my breakfasts anyway and I'm tr I usually like more bougie fruit but like I said I'm trying to be more thrifty so pears and apples cheap Brazil nuts for my one Brazil nut a day that I like to have for the selenium because I don't want them and I don't eat cashews but there were none in the bulk thing at the place so I got pistachios instead. I like pistachios better as well. And then I went to count down for everything else. Spinach. I eat a lot of spinach often with lunch and dinner like every day. Cooked because then it's, you get the nutrients better because of reasons. That's true because I heard it on the internet. Corn chips to have with lunch. I actually like the multi-grain ones more, aren't they? They're a bit more like crunchy to me. A bit more in them, you know. Also, actually I didn't realise, they've got flaxseed, faba bean flour, chickpea flour, quinoa, chia seed and poppy seed in them. So like, these are way more nutritious. Nice. Green rice. I like to get, well I have been getting Uncle Ben's tomato and basil rice, like two of those a week for lunch, but like that's way more expensive than just getting this which will last a couple of weeks and also like it's wasteful, obviously. Um, see, this is going to save me some, some moolah, gluten free wheat bix, it's super expensive. I'm going to be getting, hopefully, a disability allowance soon to help with my groceries because most gluten-free items are like 100 200% more expensive so I just get paid the difference to what like normal wheat bix are so these are like 720 normal wheat bix of the same size would be like three dollars something so that'll make a bit of a difference my new obsession uh, dairy free up and go for my first breakfast of the day this is not really for um, money saving it's for convenience and uh, taste gluten free which is amazing I really didn't think they were going to be so I'm so stoked and yeah, I literally buy two packs of these a week, which is like not thrifty, but I'm also not going to stop doing that. Biscuits. These are the cheapest ones, cheapest gluten free ones. They're like Oreos. They're really good. They're the ones I've been buying every week at the moment. Chickpeas for lunch. Cook them up, have them in a wrap, have them with rice. Kidney beans, just to mix it up. This will last me like three days each one of these. Six days for both. Perfect. Chunky salsa. Also to have with lunch. A bit of flav. Flavor flav. Never tried this one though so 
it's the countdown brand so let's see how that is it probably tastes like exactly the same as the other one cordial because I I love juice but it's I just like drink it really fast and it's you know that becomes quite expensive so cordial this one is less sugar so it's like better for your teeth and um, black currant I wanted like orange or lemon but all the cheap countdown brand ones have barley with them in their lemon and orange ones and I can't have barley because it's got gluten in it but this is good this is like Ribena dried apricots for snacky snacks I ate a whole one of these bags last week which is not good this should last me like two weeks not that not that I am annoyed that I ate the whole thing because that's like too much food but like it's too much dried fruit because it's like not great for digestion my chocolate snapped in half that's annoying mm. Wheat William chocolate this is the one I get every week it's like the cheapest dairy free chocolate that isn't dark chocolate because I don't really like dark chocolate and it's also certified gluten free unlike Whitaker's which is I like may contain traces of gluten. I still eat it most of the time. I'm a milk chocolate bitch. Hummus, also for lunches and for uh, like carrots. I've got some carrots that I stick in there. Two tomatoes. They're kind of expensive, but I love tomatoes, and I'll usually only eat like half a day with lunch. Chia seeds. I ran out of these. I have them with my wheat bix every morning. I can't really have more than one tablespoon a day because digestion. <laughs> IBS life, am I right ladies? Popcorn, sweet and salty. Amaze out floss because I need floss. Mouthwash because we, we're just gonna gonna really get on our dental hygiene game. You know, I picked this one because it was pink. I I haven't been buying like vegany, healthy, natural, um, dental hygiene products because I just I don't think they work, and they never have fluoride in them. And like Colgate's probably bad. Like it probably uses animal testing and stuff. I'm not sure, which like makes me feel not good about buying it but like I feel like my teeth were getting bad because I was using vegan toothpaste without fluoride in it so I'm like mm. here we go <laughs> thanks for coming to my home bye supporting me on patreon I'll put the link to patreon in the description for this video first I'll go through the Flogging in the parking lot, flogging in the parking lot. Hope nobody looks at me. I'm vlogging in the parking lot. Kia ora. Just finished my morning shift, waiting till around nine so I can commute back home for the day. Uh, so I just dropped into the supermarket to get some new purple shampoo and conditioner. Trying this one out because I feel like the one I have now isn't doing wonders for me and this one has good reviews and it's also the same as the his hairspray thing not actual hairspray but the spray stuff i put in my hair so it's got like more blue tones in it which i think might be good it's a bit better for like yellowness i don't know we'll see i've never used a blonde conditioner too so I'm just trying to stop my hair from getting as dull and beige as it often does. I'm going to drive home now and listen to a podcast. I actually love commuting because so much podcast time. I'm listening to one a lot called Still Processing, which is really good. Also the Lexi podcast, Lexi Lombard and Auntie Donna. They're like 
three that I listen to. Where do I get my car keys? This is good. Okay, peace out. A real breakfast of champions. Three wheat bricks, soy milk, brown sugar, chia seeds, and fruit. And all of this pear is only half of one of my pears. And a cup of joe in the bum mug. Don't just eat your lip scrub. You're a liar. Hemp and spinach gluten-free wrap. Cooked kidney beans with spinach, avocado, tomato, hummus and nutritional yeast. And multigrain corn chips. For the last few days I have been doing the Geogisa Daily Challenge. And it is now that time again. Let's see how we do. 11,000 points. Wow. I have blue tacked my phone to <laughs> the front of the car so I can try and log and drive. I'm not in frame. That's fine. <laughs> it is what it is, yeah. I'm not I'm not a big professional YouTuber. All right, I'm just, you know, I'm just really stressed right at this moment. Well, not stressed, just, I don't know, in despair. No, also not true. I'm just, I just, I just need to, to be real, be real with the vlog in that, um, I am broke as shit. Living in Wellington is expensive, you know, I'm out here trying to be an actor which means that I'm working part-time you know 25 hours a week and um, I really enjoy my job but I do have to drive out kind of far every week so that that's petrol on top of all my other necessary life expenses grocery shopping is particularly expensive for me because of the fact that I am celiac and I have to buy like I just have to buy food that is more expensive I really hope this clip is usable yeah so it's like I have to pay about $15 15 to $20 more than just generally people do when they're you know on a budget um like breakfast food and bread pasta just normal things that you eat i'm gonna get a disability disability allowance soon hopefully i mean if they turn me down for it i'm gonna have a have a breakdown because it ain't easy being gluten freezy. Oh my god, I'm so lost in what my point was. Oh yeah, so last week, unfortunately, I was sick and I had to have two mornings and an afternoon off work. So I lost like, like six and a half hours, which is not like crazy but um I don't have any sick leave yet because I haven't been working um there long enough like in my contract it's like you can't get sick leave until such and such a time so I just didn't get paid for the hours that I didn't work luckily I've already done grocery shopping because like I can't do it again this week also I, I'm paying too much tax at the moment because I was having to pay secondary tax and um, yeah I need to like fix that because holy shit luckily we've got the, the acting job coming up and you know I need it I feel like you're definitely not going to be able to hear me now so far. okay I'm early for work um, so I'm going to finish what I was saying quickly basically the gist is I'm poor this week <laughs> that's, that's what it's like being 22 
and um, not having a proper job and yeah I, I but I don't want a proper job the reason I do what I do is because I want to do acting and you know gotta just keep grinding keep grinding being a starving artist until one day hopefully you're not oh yeah well remember you know I'll make it through it's it's chill I'm back in my car. Well, Alex's car. I wanted to end the vlog. I the last clip I filmed was like not the most cheerful. <laughs> so it'd be weird if I just like cut off there. I've just been uh, out in the part of town where I work all day. Didn't drive back in. Was doing some rehearsal prep and. Uh, what else was I doing? I had to write a short report for um, the role I did for the Fringe Festival. I don't know if I talked about that here at all, but I was, I did some front of house, I did front of house internship for the Fringe Festival. Someone just drove past. What else? Oh, I, I applied for acting school in Melbourne. <sighs> Scary because um there's a tr there's from April 19th there's a travel bubble between Australia and New Zealand so I can go to Melbourne uh really soon although it wouldn't be till next year and I had had too much coffee I think I'd only had one coffee but I was I hadn't eaten enough I guess and I was just it just it just made me feel really anxious for some reason and I was like, oh my god, I can't do it. Um, because I feel like COVID-19 has been like, for me, living in New Zealand, it's been like, I don't know, like a safety blanket. Because it's like, oh, well, I don't have to do the scary things because... I can't do it because of COVID, like, you know, I can't go to my dream school because of COVID. And now it's like, well, actually, you can. And I have no excuses now not to do the things I want to do that are scary. So that's what, that's what I'm, I've been going through in the last couple of days since old Jacinda made that announcement. But yeah, just wanted to round off the vlog for the week i was gonna start editing today but i didn't have enough time did like three straight hours of work at the library which was pretty pretty neat that's what happens when you don't try and work from home you actually get shit done i honestly like i might also vlog in the coming week because i just really love doing it guys you know I'm sure there's like at least one person who wants to watch it. So, to you, if you're watching, um, thanks for doing that. And uh, tune in next week for more updates on my my 20-something broke-ass trying to be a creative in this capitalist world life. Kakita.